All right, boys and girls, this is my final video of my compressed air single acting engine and it has a blue paint job with polished brass and a very unique mechanism because the length of this rocker between this pivot and this pivot is exactly twice the distance between this pivot and this pivot. So the piston travels two inches total stroke but the throw on the crankshaft is only half an inch. So you get two half inches, you have one inches of total travel at the crankshaft end and two inches of travel at the um, piston end. And I wasn't really sure when I started this whether it was going to work or not, but I'm very pleased with it. I think this will probably be my final video of this engine. Uh, hiding in the center here we have the oil pot which keeps the cylinder oiled. Uh, we're running with sealed ball bearings on the crankshaft and without further ado I'm going to fire this up and run it. I hope you enjoy this. I know I've enjoyed it, building it. It was a quick build. And there we have it running. As you can see there's a lot of movement happening out at this end. And the valve of course which operates the control of the air is at the other end where you can see this yoke bobbing up and down. It's running on about 20 pounds air pressure there. It will run on less air pressure, but if you do run it on less, due to the 2 to 1 reduction, the action of the flywheels gets kind of jerky. At a, at a little higher uh, air pressure, it evens out. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I think I came quite close to making this the same as the uh, German flea meter engine that inspired this build. Thank you all for having a look.